Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and welcome to my 2019 Christmas special where I reveal the top 35 products that I have reviewed this year. Now this is the seventh year that I've been doing this and it's just a blast. I just love doing this for you guys. And 2019 was another very busy year because I reviewed over 240 products and what made my list are products uh, not only from the United States, but also from Canada, from England, from Sweden, and from Australia. So a great list of uh, my top 35 I'm going to reveal. And uh, stay tuned at the very end of this video, I'm going to uh, announce, just like I did for the last couple of years, is the, the hot sauce maker of the year for 2019, the product line of the year, and also my number one top product of the year. So I'll be doing that at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, try to uh, keep uh, make this kind of fast. Um, I have about a third of the products uh, with me, so I'll show you that bottle. Uh, if I don't have it, I'll show you a picture of what I enjoyed it on. So it's probably this video is probably going to make you hungry. All of these are in alphabetical order, so we start off with the first one. And this is Alvin's Hot Sauce. This is a real uh, Trini pepper sauce. It's made with scotch bonnet peppers, papaya, papaya and shadow benny. That's uh, culantro. I just love that. And I had this on my sausage, egg, and cheese English muffin sandwich. Now, the next up, this company has made my list um, in the past. And this is the Angry Goat Pepper Company. This is the chocolate habanero, balsamic, and black garlic from Jason and Roberta Parker. Uh, the title says it all, it's just fantastic. It's very, very rich in black garlic and I think the balsamic vinegar does a great job of really uh, bringing that out. Now next up is another company that has made my list before and that is the Bravado Spice Company and it is their Aka Miso. This stuff is an umami flavor bomb. It's a Ghost Reaper hot sauce um, featured on The Heatonist. It was on Hot One Season 10, and I had this on Myung's Bibimbap. I had it on several other things as well. Now, next up is from my good friend Sebastian Rojas from the Chipotle Hot Sauce Company, and I awarded it to his Mi Moly. This is a ready-to-use moly that he created along with his partner, Araceli Ramirez. I had this on tamales, chicken, and I even had it on some ice cream. It was delicious. The next one is from Clark and Hopkins. And uh, I didn't travel to Texas uh, for this one, but I made it over to uh, one of the best barbecue places in western North Carolina in Dillsboro, and that is the Haywood Smokehouse. Clark and Hopkins, Texas is just outstanding, and it is made for brisket. And I love the way that they, they use cucumbers in this, serranos, onion, garlic, ancho chili powder, black pepper, and spices. It's just amazing. Next up is a company from Australia, my friend Mr. Vaughn Henry, Vaughn and Lisa of Cobra Chili. Their garlic habanero is just amazing. It's super rich and savory. Tomato, garlic, onions has about 15%. Um, habanero peppers in it and I had that on a sausage fried egg and pimento cheese English muffin sandwich very very delicious this next one is from the UK uh, one of my favorite companies over there from Mr. Steve Cooley this is Daddy Cool's Blood Orange But Jalokia this was his Halloween Reserve a hot sauce for 2019 um, he has been growing um, the peppers, he grows his own peppers. This is just fantastic hot sauce uh, made with the blood orange but jalokia, fermented peppers and smoked onions and garlic. So it's got a real nice uh, smoky, funky, savory and citrus flavor. It's just absolutely amazing. Now this next one is also from the UK. This is from Cliff Hyssop. He is the Devon Chili Man. And this is cannibalistic hot sauce. This stuff is amazing. And it happens to be made with the hottest pepper that I have ever eaten. And that is the Butch Taylor or the Butch T Reaper BTR hybrid. Um, it's made 9% BTR peppers, and it is super, super delicious. 
Next, we have uh, Don Raphael, Artisan Hot Sauce from Mr. Robert Rivera. His Coconut and Spices is what I consider his masterpiece. This is something that he's worked on for over two and a half years to get it just right. And I had that sauce on some chicken and rice with pigeon peas and green olives. Fairy Tales Hot Sauce. I gave it to their Big Bad Wolf. That stuff is amazing. It's thick and rich, tomato-based. A smoked habanero hot sauce and I had that on some soft breakfast tacos this next company um, put out really some amazing hot sauces award-winning hot sauces and that is fractured sauce and I gave it to hot shiitake just one of about six that they created that sauce is a blend of aged jalapenos and reaper peppers along with carrots sun-dried tomato onion shiitake mushroom and spices and I had that on some chicken fried rice. Now this next hot sauce really surprised me because it is probably the richest uh, fermented hot sauce, one of the uh, richest fermented hot sauces I've ever tasted and that is the General's Hot Sauce. I gave it to Shock and Awe. It's currently the hottest one from the General's Hot Sauce. It's made with about 86 percent orange habaneros and it's got a real nice strong and super rich fermented uh, habanero flavor and heat very very hot and I had that on some fried eggs with country ham and some home fries okay the next one I have the bottle here this is another one of my favorite companies guys this is a Verde sauce this is the limited edition from Ghost Scream love that Ghost Scream this is their El Verde hot sauce if you want a delicious green verde sauce made with the um, jalapenos and tomatillos and onions and garlic this one is super super delicious now this next company um he has previously i previously awarded uh, chris gender hot sauce maker of the year gendo spice of life i reviewed several of their sauces this year so it was kind of hard to pick one of them but i gave it to their black garlic mole and I had that on some black beans and rice and uh, corn um, with beef and red chilies. That stuff is just fantastic. It uh, combines habanero and ghost peppers along with black garlic and dark chocolate. So that's really, really good. Spices also in there are anise root and uh, cumin and oregano. Now this next company is from Hawaii. Um, really some fantastic hot sauces. And that is High Spice Smoked Scorpion Hot Sauce. And I had that on some fried eggs, hot and spicy fried Spam, and some fried rice. Enjoyed that on a Hawaiian-style breakfast. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, so delicious on eggs. And it also makes a fantastic Bloody Mary as well. Now, this next company um, is Haas Sauce. And I gave it to their Bibim Hot Sauce. Something right up my wife Myung and I's alley. It's a bold, savory Korean flavors of toasted sesame tamari soy sauce fish sauce lime garlic and rice wine vinegar with some red chili pepper heat a really umami flavor bomb of a hot sauce and i had that on myung's homemade gimbap that was delicious okay this next company is garlicky gringo from hotline pepper products um, love that particular hot sauce um, that is made with roasted jalapenos roasted tomatillos roasted onions and a whole lot of garlic lots of garlic garlic in three forms and that made a delicious uh, guacamole okay the next company here um, is just outstanding um, I reviewed so many of their hot sauces and it was really hard to pick one but I managed to do it and that is Hurtberry Farm um, Drew Jacobson and Steve Best and I awarded it to their starless smoky mole style hot sauce and I had that on some um, Mexican rice some chicken mole uh, Mexican rice and corn and some refried beans that was amazing okay the next company is from Canada another one from Canada this is uh, from Island Sun Canada and this is Bajan Taiga Check that out. Beige and Tiger. This stuff is just outstanding. I had it on some scrambled eggs. Um, Jeff Davis uh, really has perfected a Bajan style um, hot sauce with mustard. It's got um, Barbadian style mustard sauce, scotch bonnets, naga peppers are in here, onions, mango, garlic, and plenty of fresh 
turmeric root to give it that beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, next we have um, a really interesting hot sauce I reviewed recently, and that is from Lola's Fine Hot Sauce. And I just had to give it to Buffalo. It's a buffalo style wing sauce. Now, I lived in Niagara Falls, New York for several years, so I know what real buffalo style chicken wings taste like. And that brand new Buffalo, Buffalo Styles hot sauce uh, really captures that rich cayenne pepper flavor, butter, and garlic. It is just outstanding. And of course, I had to have that on some uh, chicken wings. Okay, this next company has been on my list several times in the past, and that is from Scott Zalkine and Lucky Dog. And I had to award it to this one right here, Heats of Peach. Scott named this after his, um, I think, favorite uh, Allman Brothers um, album, Eat a Peach. This is a Trinidad Scorpion hot sauce with peaches and roasted garlic. Uh, just outstanding. Okay, this next one is from Mago, and I gave it to their Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce. That's a magical blend of vinegar, uh, yellow bell peppers, carrot, sea salt, organic cane sugar, dried onion, ghost peppers, garlic, and rosemary extract. And I had that on sausage, egg, and cheese English muffin sandwich. Now, Carlene Fenor, this next company is Minpaw. And she created a milder version of her regular uh, red um, hot sauce. And that one she called Umami. And it's a milder version. It, and I enjoyed that on Myung's pork mandu dumplings. Just outstanding. Now this next company is the Mild to Wild Pepper and Herb Company. And I gave it to the Rookie Orientation. A very um, mild hot sauce. But I had that. It's a Jim Campbell Classic. Firefighter Jim Campbell, I'm sure you've heard of him. I had that on scrambled eggs, home fries, country ham, and that was just delicious. It's a blend of cayenne pepper mash, onions, garlic, spices, salt, and citrus juice. Really, really good. Now, this next company is from the UK, Mr. Adam Marks, and he is a master. He is a genius when it comes to end infusion uh, sauces, pickles, and chutneys, and I just had to award it to his tamarind chipotle chutley, chutney and i had that on a thick cut bone in pork chop also fixed to mushy pea curry and that was just super super delicious now the next one here i have the bottle this is from uh, nick palata of palata hot and this is their chili moon this stuff is amazing beautiful looking label and color on this bottle this is a handcrafted all natural hot sauce it is just super super delicious um, love this particular hot sauce. It's smoky, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's savory, and it's got some super hot heat that is not overdone. Now the next one here is a very, very delicious hot sauce. This is Tim Palman of Palman Acres and his fermented garlic hot sauce. And I had that on some fish and grits, some Cajun wild Alaskan coho salmon on top of, on top of some smoked Gouda Geechee Boy Mill made here in South Carolina, white stone ground grits with summer succotash. That is just amazing. He uses three different types of hardneck garlic in that particular hot sauce. That's why it's so delicious. Okay, this next one here, another company from Canada. A lot of companies from Canada. This is a very, very delicious hot sauce. This is, this is from Rin de la Rouge. That means queen of the hive. And this is the firecracker. This is a... Um, cherry and ghost pepper hot sauce just outstanding super super delicious not very hot for a um a uh, ghost pepper hot sauce but it's just really really delicious okay this next one here is from uh, the man the mustache and the legend and that is mr rick mccants and his awesome sauce this stuff is awesome this is super, super delicious, and I gave it to the Zesty Habanero. This stuff is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just made with seven ingredients, bell peppers, habaneros, avocado oil, lime juice, onion, and garlic, sea salt. No vinegar. Uh, so for you non-vinegar fans out there, uh, you got to try some Rick's awesome sauce. Okay, this next company, this is a company from Sweden, and I was just blown away uh, by... Uh, this company's products, and this is Chart 
Funny name, right? Shark Extreme Chili Sauce, and I gave it to the ghost. It is just super, super delicious. <coughs> Excuse me. Had that on some Swedish meatballs with pasta, and that was just delicious. It was a, It's a blend of orange bell peppers, butjolokia peppers, habanero peppers, white onion, Spanish red pepper, vinegar, carrot, sugar, rosemary, thyme, tarragon, and garlic. Just outstanding. Now, this next company here, uh, they have been on my list before, I believe, and it, it, this is from Salaji Sauce. This is the roasted ghost sauce. If you want a roasted ghost pepper hot sauce, uh, this is delicious. It's getting hot in here. This stuff is amazing. Super, super delicious. So, uh, congratulations to Salaji Sauce. Okay, moving along here. The next one here is from the Spicy Shark. I reviewed several of their products, but I gave it to the Tiger Shark Ghost Pepper Hot Sauce made with sweet pineapple and banana and habaneros and ghost pepper heat. And I had that on some grilled chicken breast with yellow rice and pigeon peas. And that was amazing. So a very, very savory and fruity blend that contains pineapple, mango, banana, orange, along with the habaneros and the ghost peppers just super super delicious okay this next company here i reviewed this uh, recently i have the bottle right here in front of me um this is the fourth hot sauce uh released um from hector uh saldivar this stuff is amazing this is tia lapita's habanero the brand new one from tia lapita habanero super super delicious uh love this stuff all natural, no sugar, simple ingredients. This one's got a little bit of um, mango in it. Yeah, and another thing I really love about what um, Hector did with this one, he's got carrots, onions, uh, but he uses organic date syrup. And I thought that was really, really uh, amazing to use that. This, yeah, mangoes are in here as well. Okay, now this next company, I'm sure you've all heard of this particular company, um, and they created something that I thought was really super delicious. Um, kind of took me by surprise, and that is Tabasco Brand's brand new Rocoto Pepper Sauce. Um, I think they really nailed a good flavor profile with this one. It's made with uh, the Peruvian uh, peppers, you know, the Rocoto. It's got some bold global spices in here. Just super, super delicious really really amazing took me by surprise just absolutely delicious okay i think we're getting down to the last one guys um maybe i went too fast i don't know okay this next one of course has made my list before and this is truff's hotter sauce i love truff i think the white is my favorite the one made with the white truffles but this is their black truffle infused hot sauce this is the hotter version I think they're using um, some habanero powder in here to uh, ramp up the heat a little bit. And I think they did a great job. It's still got that nice, savory, black truffle, creamy, smooth, rich flavored like the original one does. Uh, but it definitely has um, a little bit more heat because of that habanero pepper. But uh, this is truff hotter sauce. Just outstanding. Okay, we made it, guys. That is my top 35, and like I said, I want to do something that I've done um, for the past couple of years. Let me get some water right quick. Now, I want to review or reveal the um, hot sauce maker of the year, and this goes uh, goes to a gentleman that has created um, some amazing flavor profiles. He is based in Puerto Rico, and my hot sauce maker of the year, I'm giving it to Mr. Robert Rivera of Don Raphael Artisan Hot Sauce. He's created over 12 different flavor profiles with his Don Raphael Artisan Hot Sauce line. He also has the super healthy um, Adivas Hot Sauce line as well, and he's coming out with more and more products. So Hot Sauce Maker of the Year. What he does with peppers and fruits and oils and spices is absolutely amazing. Now, for the product line of the year, <clears throat> usually I want to award this to a to a company. Usually it's a company that I've reviewed several of their products, at least four or more in their product line that I've reviewed. And it's not only um, because the what's inside the bottle 
taste good, but it's the whole thing. Their labeling, their marketing, their branding, their look. That's what I'm looking for when I award um, the product line of the year. And this year it goes to Shane and Fiona of Fractured Sauce. And these are from the Goshen Hop and Run Farm in um, Southeast Pennsylvania. They are dedicated to growing their own hot peppers. Cultivating balanced heat and flavor from seed to sauce and adhering to high production standards. And their pepper mashes are aged for a minimum of six months. They don't use any gums, thickeners, or artificial flavors. But as you can see there in that picture, their product line is just gorgeous. Their bottles, their labeling, everything, their flavor profiles, absolutely uh, brilliant. So that is my product line of the year. Now... The last one here, this is my top product of the year. I'm so excited about this one because this stuff is just fantastic. It didn't really take me long to figure this one out, but this is my single most um, the top product of the year. Um, why? Because it's so delicious. Um, it's something that I just keep going back to. I just kept using it over and over and over again, and it goes to... The man, the mustache, and the legend, Mr. Rick McCants. And this is my top product of the year, Rick's Awesome Sauce. And I give it to this one. This is a zesty habanero. He's got a couple other ones, but this one is my top product of the year. Congratulations, Rick. All right, guys, that is my uh, Christmas special top 35 products, my hot sauce maker of the year, the product line of the year, and my top product of the year. Congratulations to all these companies. Um, thank you for making awesome products. I just, uh, just amazing what you guys do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So stay tuned for a whole lot more. I hope 2020 is going to be just as exciting, and I think it will be. So thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to, to you and your families. Enjoy this time of the year. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.